I'm Robert. And I'm Michael. And you're watching, watching Two, Two for the Road. Oh, that's pretty good. Okay, I want to say something about the two boys that just introduced our channel. Um, they recognized us from um, Manatee Springs a while back. Um, they found one of our Hyder Rocks and uh, they called us out on it while we we're here at the park and they asked if they could be in the video. So there you have it. I just want to say it was a very nice family that we had met, you know, single mom with four kids. And uh, it was a real pleasure to run into a um, fellow subscriber, uh, two for the road family member. Thanks for the uh, shout out of Hyder Rock and uh, it was a privilege of putting you in our video. Welcome back to the channel. This weekend we're staying at Payne's Prairie Preserve State Park in my canopy, Florida, just south of Gainesville. We have reserve site number 41, a very nice shaded wooded campsite and it accommodates a 60 foot trailer. As you will note, we did not put out any of our outdoor living items as this weekend was forecasted for a lot of heavy and dangerous storms. Sure enough, 30 minutes after our arrival, it started to rain. But once the rain had lifted up, that's when we'd make our journey out to discover this park. And we uh, headed over to the visitor center for some great information. The visitor center had this really nice display of all the wild animals you can expect to see when you come here. And uh, once we get out there a little bit, we'll see what we can find. So just a short walk from the visitor center is the Jackson remains of their honeymoon cottage, they call it. And um, he was a rancher from Texas brought cattle here and settled the area. Now, what did he actually... There's deer over there. What did he actually bring as far as cattle? I don't know if it was cows or if it was the American buffalo, but um, as we're talking, there's some wild deer right over here looking at us. So I'm gonna turn the camera, see if we can get a little closer and shot of them. They're looking. They are definitely looking. Oh, they're, running. they're running. One of them is. One of them's running. Yep. The other there goes the other one. I don't know if you guys can see it or not in the video. Two beautiful female. But look at the area. So just to let you know, we're on uh, the trail called Jackson Trail. It's one of a few trails that allows pets uh, to be on them and the reason is because the other trails that the pets are not allowed on is because of the uh, uh, presence of a lot of alligators and the horses and the buffalo you know pets can spook those animals and cause a problem to the animals or to us or even to your pet because you know how some dogs will lose their minds over a simple squirrel and you know cooper actually fits in that category he will lose his mind so we're taking him on this jackson trail to give him his little time in the woods and then we'll, uh, later on we'll go on um, one of the trails and see if we can see the buffalo and the horses ourselves and even visit one of the towers because there's two towers on this park so but there's the deer again let me see if I, oh they're running they're running Oh, there's three of them. I wonder if those are the three we saw earlier. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, all that's left is the 
fireplace. There's something over which there. might be for the uh, kitchen cooking. And then that might be a small fireplace, which would have been heating for the house, but you've got some old remnants of the foundation and what's left of the uh, logs of the log cabin. And then there's some tin over there for the roof. Yeah, there's some there too. Yeah, well, that's all that's left of the uh, Jackson home. Once again, the fireplace. small two-story. See if there's a photo over here of it on that slack. All right, let's head over and take a look at the day use area of this park. You have a swing set for the kids. You have multiple pavilions separate picnic tables throughout the wooded area and even a really large pavilion with a really nice big barbecue grill for entertaining a large group and even the public restrooms were really nice and maintained and the park also has this really nice amphitheater but I have a question for our reviewers how many of you actually used an amphitheater at a campground that you have visited. Leave a comment down below. I would like to hear from you. So even though this park is a preserve, but it also has this really big, beautiful lake. And that's right, if you're wondering, does it have a boat ramp? It sure does. So plan on bringing your boat to get out there on the lake and do some fishing. And the parking lot for this boat ramp can hold up to about 60 rigs. Like I had mentioned, the forecast of some bad weather. Just look at those clouds rolling in. When visiting this park, you will definitely notice that there is no shortage of sightings of deer running all over the place. And an occasional sighting of a few rabbits here and there. Okay, we head out on trail number six. It is a two and a half mile walk round trip. Let's see if we can see some wild animals. Well, what do you think? Gonna get lucky? See some deer? Deer? Horses? <laughs> buffalo? Gator? We'll be lucky. Bobcats? To see bison. Wild pigs? And wild horses. The rest, not so lucky because we did that. You don't think so? Alright. Let's go find out. So Payne's Prairie Preserve is known for its wild horses and buffalo. When you enter the preserve, the signs tell you that you might get lucky. And however, we were not lucky to see them. All right, it's time to give you a look around the campground and some of the campsites so you will know what to expect when you come here. The campground loop is one giant loop with one cut through and it consists of a total of 50 campsites to choose from. The sites include 30 amp and 50 amp electric and water, plus you get a picnic table and a fire ring with the ability to cook on it. And all the sites are nice and shaded and nestled in this beautiful wooded area. So with a total of 50 campsites, there are 13 sites designated for tent camping only. And out of those, there are four sites that have the ability to do hammock camping. Campsites that would be of interest for you all if you're a tenter or a hammock type camper 
Um, there is three sections here that have the ability for some tenting. I'm going to show you some of those sites real quick. All right, coming right off the uh, parking lot. As you can see, you hike in immediately and the campsites are spread out. And you see some tents here in the background where some people are camping. And this is one of the tent sites. This is site number 28. You know, fire ring, picnic table, pad area for your tent, lantern hanger or your garbage hanger. And then right over here, this campsite, you have a water spigot and electricity. So I don't know if that's to be shared or if that's designated for this specific site. You'll have to look into the campground details for that option, but that is located right here at site number 27. Now I just want to say that all these little campsites here, these tent sites and camp hammock sites, they are definitely in some really nice shaded areas. And this is site number 29. All right. Now let's go ahead and take a tour of the rest of the campground and show you some of the RV sites and what they look like. Okay, it's going home day from Payne's Prairie in McCanopy, Florida. Well, we hope you enjoyed the video. Please give us a thumbs up. We just wanted to say thanks for checking out our video and you should consider subscribing to our channel. You never know, we just may be guilty of adding to your bucket list. And as always, Thanks for watching. Two for the road.